on Earth. The Central Florida Homeless Network conducts an annual point in time count to try to get a better picture of the number of homeless people living in Central Florida. The network is now sharing the results of that count, which shows an increase in the number of homeless people across Orange, Osceola and Seminole counties. New 6's Emily McLeod breaks down the numbers for us and the solutions experts say are needed. We need to be bold and we need to act quickly. We need to act very quickly. Homeless Services Network CEO Martha Ayer issuing an urgent call to action during a news conference on Wednesday. The group's annual point in time count revealed a 28% increase in the number of people experiencing homelessness across Orange, Osceola and Seminole counties. That means 625 more people are experiencing homelessness in 2024 compared to 2023. Our region identified 2,883 people experiencing homelessness. According to the point in time count, 1,201 of the 2,883 people included in the count were unsheltered. Air says that number is up 105% from 2023. They were sleeping in cars. They were in the over, under the overpasses. Air says one of the biggest factors to impact the rise in homelessness is a lack of affordable housing units. We need 94,000 units. Of those, we need 56,000 for those households that are extremely low income. We're also at a point where all the jurisdictions have to do more. And all the members, all the citizens, all the businesses and neighbors in our communities are going to have to do. We caught up with Trinette Nation with the Coalition for the Homeless of Central Florida on Wednesday, and they say affordable housing is one of the main reasons why people come to them for help. What are some of the services that the coalition offers to combat these higher numbers we're seeing? Um, so we are a short term residential shelter. Um, we believe in diversion, and so when somebody comes to us, we really work with them to help them find alternatives as opposed to entering in shelter. What are what are you all able to do? for those that maybe don't want to come to the coalition. If somebody may not want to come onto our campus, they may not want to follow the rules. We have very strict rules here. Um, we are able to provide them with hygiene kits, with clothing, with socks, with underwear, with so many resources that they may not have otherwise through those outreach programs. In Orange County, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.